Welcome back everyone. My name's Kevin and today we got a special episode. I know we say that every time, but this one really is because we finally caught ourselves some gold eye on a river, which has been really hard uh, fishing this year because of the drought. So we didn't get a lot, but we got a couple and we are gonna smoke them. It's one of my favorite treats. This is one of my favorite recipes. It is simple and it doesn't take that long. All right, so let's begin. So you're gonna need some gold eye probably gonna have to catch these yourself. Now you can buy these smoked already for you, but this is more fun. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a brine. Your brine needs for a couple hours. Now I have loaded this recipe onto my website at www.chefkevfunk.com and it walks you through everything I'm gonna show you here. So the ingredient list is right here. And I'll read it to you. What you're gonna need, two liters of water, one cup of brown sugar, in this case, I used golden yellow sugar, uh, one cup of coarse salt, I used kosher, uh, half a cup of maple syrup, four bay leaves, four cloves of garlic, a third of a cup of soy sauce, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and one teaspoon of pepper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that all to a slow boil, and you are gonna stir that until it's dissolved. Obviously, the bay leaf doesn't dissolve. Once that has occurred, you're gonna pour it into a container like this. Or if you don't have one of these, uh, just a bowl that you can cover, whatever. This is a Cambro box. Uh, they're very handy, pick these up. They got lids that seal. And if you have the coinciding catering boxes, which you could have, they slide right in there perfectly for transport. But anyway, we leave our gold eye in there for a couple hours. Now, the longer you leave it in there, the more salty it's gonna get. Keep that in mind. So, we are gonna take our gold eye out. This was a nice one. Check that one. That's a nice fish. That's what you call a master angler in Manitoba. We have a master angler program. That is one of them. I believe the gold eye is 14 inches. This one was 15. So, all right, so, to get to this point though, when you catch these on the river, you are going to scale them and gut them. So you clean out the inside and take the scales off, okay? Simply do that with a butter knife, just the blunt side of it. I know butter knives are all blunt, but just go against the grain, they'll pop off. The insides, you gotta slice it open from the bottom of the jaw here, all the way down to this bottom fin here. Open it up and just pull it out and just scrape away the bloodline there. It's really easy to do, um, but yeah. And you're simply gonna take some paper towel and you are gonna pat dry these. Just dry them off. Insides as well. Okay. Do the other fish. So we're just gonna dry those off like so. All right, so now you're gonna get your smoker preheated. We are gonna preheat this to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna leave it on the smoke setting on our pit boss grill, that'll keep it low. It's gonna fluctuate and come up a little bit from there, but that's okay. Um, this is gonna take a couple hours. The longer you leave it on, the drier it's gonna get. But like my, ready to read it, you want an internal temperature of 140, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Says it right in there. Once you hit that, you're safe. So. You can go further if you want, um, just keep an eye on it. If you have a vertical smoker, great, hang your fish. So yeah, we're gonna lay these on at 100 degree, 180 degrees Fahrenheit and leave them on for a couple hours. And you can tell when they're done. They just start, the jaw gets drilled up, they start turning red, and they are done. So yeah, you can temp them if you want, there's not a lot of meat there, um, but just keep an eye on it. You don't want them to dry completely out. Maybe you do, I don't know. But what we're gonna to add to this recipe that's not on my website is this Pit Boss Maple Chipotle Rub. Now, excellent on salmon, uh, trout. We're just gonna take this and dust a bit on the inside and on the outside. And I'm gonna lay it on like that. I'm gonna give that a try. The recipe without it is great. I bet this is gonna be even better. So we're gonna leave that on the grill. We're gonna go put it on there and then stick around. We'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so we just pulled our gold eye off of the uh, smoker and it took roughly three hours. I think it is now six o'clock p.m. Come check this out, get in here.
All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Smoked cola is one of my favorite treats. You should try it if you have access to it. If you don't, find a similar fish and do the same thing because it is amazing. Look at that. Go fish. Go fish. <laughs> Hope you all subscribe and have a great day.